Hey Gemini, welcome to your general love read. This is for June 15th through the 21st. However, time is fluid, so whenever you stumble upon this, if it resonates, that's when it was for you. If it does resonate, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I will look back at all the videos from this week at the end of next week, and whichever video got the most loving contributions, I will release a bonus video for that sign. Um, as well, there is a link in the description box if you find that it resonates and you want to join my Patreon extended program or if you're looking for a personal read, okay? So I'm going to start this reading by pulling a card for the collective, then I'm going to pull out an intention for this reading and lay out a foundation. After I kind of move through and clarify the foundation, I'm going to dig deep through pieces of it to give you further clarification. At the end, I'll get some messages from the universe. I will get an oracle card, and then in the extended, I'm going to flip-flop things and look at it from your person's point of view. Okay, so let's get started. Woo! Gemini's. What's going on with you? Okay. Hmm. You may be starting to kind of tune in to yourself, which is very funny because then as I cut the deck, tuning in, that's very funny. Okay. there were three cards that came out the first is wish okay today you are given the highest form of meditation this ancient practice of wishing words changes attitudes feelings and situations your energy begins to shift the wish as it manifests drawn towards you the quote is you can want one thing and have a secret wish for the opposite. So I get the feeling that you may be trying to figure out what it is that you really are wishing for. You're getting a little more in tune. Spirituality. Go to the inner space that is connected to the one energy source that you may call God or universal light. Purify your consciousness for the highest and purest outcome. The quote is, Science is not only compatible with spirituality, it is a profound source of spirituality. Okay, so as you are kind of moving yourself in this higher direction, okay, you are really getting in tune, okay? But it's not just about what you're saying, because you're also getting listened. Today, listen intently to your gut feelings. All right. The quote is, intuition always has our best intention at heart. It is a voice that can tell us who is friend and who is foe, which ones to hold at arm's length and which ones to keep close. But too often we become distracted by fear, doubt, our own stubborn hopes, 
and refuse to listen. So I think it's essential that you realize that there is more that you need to listen to, okay? More that you may be not seeing, okay? And so the intention here, because what I get is comparison. You could be comparing yourself to someone. You could can be comparing two people that you're trying to choose from. But it's mostly an inner conflict as a five that um, the comparison is all about what you feel, okay, and what you desire. And all of this really puts a lot on your plate and it kind of stresses you out. The overall energy is this working on yourself and transforming, finding your inner strength. I feel like you're working on your stability. Um, you're looking for your own path to happiness. In the past energy, we have Ace of Swords. So I feel like you were watching from the darkness, okay, waiting for a truth to come forward. I feel like it was brought forward and it did bring you a little bit of happiness, but it also kind of brought this storm up and that's kind of what you're dealing with now because you're in the storm. You're not even sure if this storm is what you wished for. You're trying to figure things out, hermit mode. But future energy is really good, okay? Future energy is 10 of cups. Now, the 10 of cups, right, is can be an ending of one thing, a beginning of another, coming into the higher level of a relationship, leveling up. Um, what that is, I'll have to wait and do some clarification. Um, because it does feel kind of like an ending, but we will see, okay. So, working on yourself, Gemini. You're working on yourself because you figured out what it is that you want, okay? King of Swords, there you are with the star, okay? You figured out what it is you want, but in order to get there, you've got to do some work. Because something that's old, something, a relationship, a job, something that's gotten old, Ten of Cups that doesn't bring you passion anymore, you are ready to be done with it. But again, you can't just walk away. There's some work that you have to do first. Ace of Swords. So Ace of Swords, clarified by Ace of Swords, the ugly truth. The ugly truth, you know, you were watching from the dark and the ugly truth came out, all right? Um, I feel like it was only ugly because of the pain that you were dealing with inside of you. Okay, it made you have to figure out how to really work on your strength. But here we've got Queen of Swords. So whoever this Queen of Swords is, is your match and they are matching you toe to toe. And they're not fighting, okay? They're not sure if they're gonna have to fight, but they're just watching. They're uncertain of where this is going. So Page of Swords, okay, while you're in this storm, this person has moved back, okay, they've moved back away from you, they've completely put the sword away. They're definitely not fighting for it at this point. And you're trying to figure things out because you're like, listen, we are well balanced. 
we are well balanced and I feel like this person is such a good match for you six of wands and it's not that you do not want them but what I feel like you're going to come to with this hermit is you're going to realize okay it is time for you to completely have a transformation here one way or the other like You need to be the chaser. You need to chase down this rebirth. You need to chase down this person because they're moving away. And then they all come out. Not gonna take all of these, but there we have that balance, that temperance. So yeah, Ten of Cups clarified with the Ten of Pentacles, okay? This is a huge transformation, all right? This is a big change. I feel like you've recognized that this person, okay, all that they give to you with the Six of Pentacles, all that they offer. I don't feel like your offer is going to be... Um, that great you are going to make some sort of offer with the king of wands but um i feel like you're you're just looking to give enough of an offer to keep this person to keep them from completely moving on Yeah, before you can move on with this Ten of Cups energy, that again, Nine of Pentacles, there's work that you have to, to do, okay? Um, you've got this book open here. You're figuring out things. You're doing research. This house is falling down around you, so I feel like your stability is feeling like it's loose, okay? The Seven of Pentacles, I feel like you know you've got a lot of options and it's keeping you up at night thinking about all of this. I feel like you are, again, you're taking things to a different level. You may be asking for support of others, you know, what am I doing? Is this the right choice? Um, with this hair fat card. So, the reason that you are in this King of Swords energy is not because you don't want to rush in, okay? Because the Chariot card here says that you do want to rush in on this. However, you are bound to something it could be a family it could be a job it's something that has to do with your stability and so you feel like your hands are tied in this there's a dog back there if you haven't seen him you feel like your hands are tied but it doesn't change the fact that you want to change the past that you you know, you figured out what you want, okay? Because the this, this star here is clarified by the star, all right? With the six of wands, you figured out what you want. And I feel like someone is waiting here for you, okay? Or this is who you're bound to, and they're holding all of the stability in order to keep you in place. Tell me about Ace of Swords. Yeah, you know how you feel about this person. That's the truth. That's the ugly truth is that you you know 
how you feel about this person. And so because of that, you're really guarded. You kind of walk through things with a blindfold on trying to, you know, stay out of your own way, trying not to make any decisions that would be harmful. But two of cups, you recognize just how you feel about this person. I feel like you know, again, this person, they are your equal, and they're not sure if there's anything to fight for here or not. Because again, Page of Swords, I feel like in the past, you did take a little bit of action forward. It wasn't a lot. I feel like you didn't take a lot of action forward because we've got judgment here with justice. And this person is hiding. Okay, hiding from this ending. It could be that you, because you're hiding from your ending or intuitively with this owl, your person could be hiding from their own ending. And here we have the justice where you want it to balance back out. And that could be why you went into this hermit energy. Because, yeah, yeah, this person, you, you want a choice, okay? And... This is creating this tower, a lot of inner conflict with the Five of Wands because this person is just sitting here, Queen of Swords, not taking any action and just working on themselves. And so you, on the bottom of the deck, the underlying energy is that you're just sitting there, not taking any action moving into that hanged energy, that pause, because you feel hurt by all of this. But with the tower and this rebirth energy, which is clarified by this rebirth energy, you know that it's time for this deception to end. There is a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that needs to be done. You need to talk about your passion okay with this person and here with this eight of cups okay you know what you've manifested so it's time for you to realize that you know there's some action where you have to take some action of walking away here and having that conversation with your person about how this is how i feel because it did come out in reverse i don't really read reverse though but I feel like this is you saying, this is how I feel because you won't walk away. Tell me about this 10 of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like in the future, you're going to get this uh, sort of boost of energy. You're going to be watching and realize that you're seeing like this timing, this divine timing coming into play. You're going to feel all like inner strength. Could be a little liquid strength. Ace of Pentacles coming through from the universe because you're at an, a new beginning. And I feel like you're going to communicate with this person. You're going to tell them how you feel. Now, all these roles, of course, can be reversed. But that's what I do feel. I feel like, like you're going to come clean. You're going to come clean and then you're going to run away. Okay, that's what this King of Wands is. Okay, you're going to come clean. You're going to spill your guts. You're going to run away because you're like, oh, crap. You know, this is everything I wish for. What if they don't, do you know, want me? Four of Cups in your head about it. And you're going to restrict them. Lock them out, Four of Pentacles.
so yeah, I mean, I feel like, okay, you've been kind of going along for a while with this, okay, with the Six of Swords and the Seven of Cups. You know what it is that you want, but you're really guarded, okay? You feel trapped, you feel like you've been in a cage, you feel very guarded, but Wheel of Fortune, okay? Okay, you guys, hey, shh, hey. They're crazy. Sorry about them. I will get them out of the room <laughs> as soon as I read this oracle card. <laughs> Inner trust. Trust the decision that you have to make, okay? Trust the decision. I don't think you need to restrict them, but realize that this is divine timing. Okay, right now you're in the storm. Okay, have the heart to heart conversation. I'll clarify this in the extended, <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.